Jay Bachelor Hip Hop Weekly Magazine. Oh my God, the lovely and never ever boring Johnny Blaze. <laughs> Welcome back to Houston. Hi, what it do, H Town? What's you, up? You're Hi, always Jay. back and forth. Um, is Houston still your home, or Houston will always be my home. I'm just not here a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. God has blessed me in amazing ways, mm -hmm. and I'm happy. And um, yeah, but I, I travel a lot. But I'm still here in yeah. Houston. Yeah. I think one of the the most interesting things about Johnny Blaze is the fact that. Your public image is ever evolving. Like the first time most folks heard of you, it was real controversial. But now they're starting to see a side that people behind the scenes have known about. For yeah. A while. Like, <laughs> how does it feel to like um, be in a transition from where you're going from controversy um, to, to talent showing? It feels great. You know, I've, I've I've been doing music since I was six, playing mm -hmm. six instruments, writing, singing. And it took a sacrifice, you know, I had to really pray and was like, do I want to be this mm -hmm. girl that's young in my 20s? Mm -hmm. The girl that's just like many other girls, yeah. um, exposing people, drama, mm -hmm. and going off and fighting. And I don't want to do that, especially when God gave me this talent to show. So it's like, what do I choose? Do I give up the stripping and give up all this, the drugs and the, the this for this music and sacrifice a lot? Might not get paid as much right now at the beginning, but when you have a passion for music, money doesn't really affect you. It mm -hmm. does, but it doesn't, not really. You still not, need not money to, to pay Yeah, you bills. still need money, but still. So I sacrificed dancing for the music, and it, it was the best thing that ever happened, and I'm happy, and it's just amazing how people react to the positive me, mm -hmm. um, the better me. So, well, it's always been me. It's just I hit it. So. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and it was funny because the last time I interviewed you, you were like, yo, we need to get out and go grab a drink after this. Yeah. This time, I was like, Johnny, uh, let's grab a drink. You were like, I don't even really mess with that. Yeah, I don't drink. I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't drink. I don't drink a lot. Um, yeah. I have seizures. I actually just had a seizure like two and a half weeks ago. Wow. Off of one shot and the lack of sleep, the lack of um, working mm -hmm. too hard, mm -hmm. over, over, basically um, just tired, mm -hmm. you know, and um, that's why I took back the drinking and mm -hmm. wine here and there, but that's about it. Okay, got you, got you. Um, wow, the, the <laughs> past year with Johnny Blaze, uh, where do I begin? I, I think that most folks are going to want, want to know about loving hip hop and your look back at that that era like talk yeah. to us about your your season <laughs> um, <laughs> what happened um i came in late at that show and it was the um i was the most popular out of that season mm -hmm. uh the most you know uh talked about and um i take it with a grain of salt it's love and it's hatred at the same time i wouldn't say hate but dislike of right. certain things i expose myself on purpose, nobody forced me, nobody gave me a script. Yeah. And I can honestly say that uh, Love and Hip Hop was not scripted. So it was never me. a script? I didn't need no script. I think right. that was the problem. You right. know, even if they did want to give me one, it, it wouldn't have worked because I, what they quote unquote said, thank you, Mona, and thank you, Stephanie. Um, I'm a natural talent yeah. for TV, and um, I thank them for that. So what I did is, um, I gave them drama. I gave them the talent, not a lot, but I made it known here and there that I do talent. Yeah. I have talent. and. Yeah. Um, it was just, why not expose yourself before somebody else do? Why not expose the bad, all the ugly and stuff, and you know. Because they can't use it against you later. Yeah, they you can't put use it, it out there. Yeah, exactly. They can't okay. use it against me, so I expose myself of things that I'm not proud of. Mm -hmm. Sex tape that I'm not proud of, you know, arguing with people I'm not proud of, being right. on drugs, prostitution. I exposed all of that because I need people to see this better me. Okay. And know like, okay, she told on herself already. We already know that was that. Would you say that season of love and hip hop, it was a, a positive thing for you, right? Negative and positive, yeah. Well, before the interview, you were saying, I asked you, I was like, would you, would you do that again? And you were like, no, quick. Um, I said it quickly, not because I, I would not do it. Okay. I would do it if I had, you know, if I could, basically paved my own storyline yeah. like i don't want the drama i don't want to fight i don't want to argue with people i want to you know have a little wine with a girl and, mm -hmm. and chill and and then go to my producer and do my music and show the the good side of mm -hmm. me um i got kicked off <laughs> oh, wow. of loving hip-hop yeah. um there was many reasons one saying 
oh, Rich blackballed you, then it was one thing, liability, then I'm kicking cameras and I'm a liability, but, you know, and it's cool. I can accept all those things, you know, and there's nothing negative towards Rich or anybody because yeah. he's the one that put me on the show, but um, I just got to do better. You know, maybe they'll pick me back up or something, but if they don't, it's okay, and I'm happy with that. I'm yeah. happy either way, and I'm glad I had that experience. Absolutely. But for now, no, I'm not going to okay. be on next season. Okay, so. okay. Uh, do you have any, when's the last time you've spoken with anybody from that season? Oh, I talked to everybody. Even Rich? I, yeah, I DM uh, Yandy, sometimes I'll at Tara. Mm -hmm. uh, I call Peter and Tara and ask them how they're doing. If I see a mean, I speak to her. Mm -hmm. um, I've never had an issue with yeah. any of the cast members, even the people that I argue with, from Diamond Strawberry to her mother. Mm -hmm. Me and um, Diamond Strawberry are about to do an event for Michael Jackson's son, Blanket, August 22nd. What? Um, we're doing a, ch it's like a charity event he did, and they invited mm -hmm. me. Him, uh, Diamond Strawberry and her mother invited me. Oh, okay. So we've been squashed, even Paris, Precious Paris, that I got in an argument. Yeah. Even from the Erica Mina thing, like, I'm kind of just over being that drama girl, right. you know, like I want to be the person that I know I could be. Absolutely. And um, yes, yeah, so I speak to everybody, even on the Hollywood to the Atlanta from Jocelyn to Stevie J. Yeah. Everyone, I'm very cool with. Like yeah. even when they meet me, meet me, I'm I'm a nice person, you yeah. know. So. Well, I've never gotten a bad energy from you, <laughs> just by you know, kicking it and doing interviews. So I know you're not a bad person. Yeah. Let's talk about the joint with you and Fetty Wap, because he's having a hot, hot summer right now. Yes, and I love you, Fetty. And no, this is not towards all his girlfriend or girlfriends or fans or whatever. I genuinely have love for him because mm -hmm. that story, how I got that song, people wouldn't believe. So people always wonder why I'm always on Instagram for 16 hours out the day. Yeah. I mean, I make my money like that. You know, um, my bookings come through there, my emails and everything. But... I started this new thing, and this is just a model for the new artists out too. You should do it because it works. That's how I got the Kevin Gates, the Rich Homie Kwan mm -hmm. song, the Tank working with me and Jeremiah, hopefully, mm -hmm. and because of Instagram. I DM'd him and I posted him as um, Artist of the Week. Mm -hmm. I didn't, hey, I don't have a lot of money. I'm not the richest person in the world, but I sing and I play six instruments. Mm -hmm. Fly to Jersey, get your ticket, I'll do a song. I thought it was like bullshit. Yeah. Excuse my language. So I did it. We vibed and we came from, you know, um, that struggle, the mm -hmm. poverty and yeah. the growing up with nothing and mm -hmm. music being an outlet. And, you know, we ended up doing a really great record because of that. So oh. because I seen that happen, I started every week Artist of the Week. And that's how I got the Rich Homie Kwan. I got stuck in Miami. Mm -hmm. He was stuck in Miami. Well, he wasn't stuck in Miami. He was down there. I got stuck yeah. for my flight. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Not that I'm in Miami. Me too. What are you doing? At the studio? Come by. Okay. And that's how it happens. Dope. You know, it's never nothing sexually or nothing. I'm just wanting to build a friendship with male and female mm -hmm. in the industry because my name was torn up from mm -hmm. my past. Right. So that's how I got that song with Fetty and I'm so excited. It has 800,000 um, hits on SoundCloud. Very it's in 30 different cities yeah. playing on the radio. Um, yeah. And it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. It takes time, you know, and I'm excited. It's overwhelming. Is Rich Dollar still, does he still have a hand in your career, music-wise? No, um, we just started speaking as far as being cordial, like just saying hello and mm -hmm. stuff, you know. Um, it's just, you know, we just keep it like that. I mean, I'm not saying that he wouldn't be. I would love him to be a part of, you know, what we started yeah. as far as television-wise and stuff. I would love to. Yeah. Just have a sit down and talk with him, but I think because of the, the new girl that he has, and then me mm -hmm. at that time being angry, mm -hmm. and it just didn't work. Yeah. But God bless him. So. You have you have someone, and shout out to Rich Dallas. He got a new situation, you know, <laughs> but you have someone in in your life as well that you were kind of telling us about, almost a boyfriend. <laughs> I believe was the like eight out of ten. See eight the way that set up is, you you go on a bunch of dates and then you kind of like each other and then you give little kisses and then you put each other for WCW MCM and then you like each other some more and then you become friends. <laughs> she got a future in Hollywood, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, you said this guy is like he's in the industry. Yeah, he's in the so. industry. He does behind the scenes with Grammy mm -hmm. um, awards, BET. He's a film director. He's mm -hmm. cool. He's normal compared yeah. to what I usually talk to the football player or the rapper. He's not seeking the limelight. Though. He has the limelight. It's just, it's different. Mm -hmm. It feels more real. And I don't have a boyfriend yet, but that is who I 
you know, talk with them. What's his Instagram? We want to follow him. <laughs> CEO Active E N L A N L A. So is he cool with us knowing that info? Because we're gonna tag him. He's he, yeah, he's cool. He's okay. he's a sweetheart and. He makes me happy inside. He's a white guy, black guy? Um, he's black. I don't have a preference. Um, okay. He's black. I, I don't believe he's black because he got blue eyes. That's that bullshit. Black with blue eyes. Bluish, greenish eyes. So The plot thickens as they say. The plot, yeah. <laughs> um, but he's a sweetheart and he really he makes me happy and he reminds me um, of... He has a lot of traits yeah. of, of my boyfriend in the past. You know, okay. I am... Um, I, I don't say that I'm looking for somebody that specifically is like my dude that passed away, but my boyfriend that passed showed me the way that a man needs to treat me. Gotcha. And I go by those rules, and he's so far been doing those okay. rules. Okay, so he has a lot of those qualities. Yeah, and it makes me happy because you find genuine people, you find genuine love, regardless of what your background is. And right. It's, it's, I'm very happy. Absolutely. We're happy for you. Okay. Um, I'm really happy for you personally because I was telling you before the interview how when we first, the first time I interviewed you, you showed me like your piano skills, your singing skills, you played some music, and I was so blown away, and I was like, wow, man, I hope people give. You should let me sing for you. No. <laughs> yeah, let's go. You should let me. Um, what you want to hear? <clears throat> I want to hear whatever you got for us. Let's go. Um, hmm. All I do is lay around Two years from the tears From looking at your face on the wall Just to wake up, call you up, my baby But I don't even There. Ha! <laughs> that was good. That was good. And, and, and I, I heard that the first time I heard I said, I hope people give her a genuine chance to display. I, I think her. I think they will. But I was worried. I was like, is, is Johnny going to chill enough to let the talent shine? Yeah. Or will it all, like, will, you it's know. It's like a thin line. With right. It's, it's like so much I've done either to way. the point. I could do the music and people have reacted and they're like, I love her music. She can right. sing. She's crazy, but she can sing. So if I can do more of the music and stuff, I yes. think people take it. But if I do that one wrong move, yeah. it's back to up. There she goes, you know. So right. I try my hardest. Even with beefing on IG stuff, I'm over with that. Yeah. Like, I'm I took down 1,500 pictures on my IG. There's nothing but my music. And I want labels to see that. I want people to understand that you can really change your life and be a better person. And Very that's dope. where I'm at right now. Very dope. So, um, before I let you go, tell us another single with Fetty Wops out now. <laughs> I know. Request it on your radio station. You okay. got the YouTube <laughs> video uh, show out now. Yes. Episode two. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, besides that, what should people keep an eye out for? Make sure you just focus on the single that's out right now. But also, mm -hmm. I am working on an album. I have some really great artists that I'm going to be working with. Um, it's, it's a story in a CD. Okay. It's basically a story on a CD. Um, and it's a wonderful story. It's about love, passion, hurt, pain, sorrows, happiness, um, tears, you know, um, just my life that people can relate to. And I'm doing piano and the guitar and the violin and drums. And I have wonderful people like Rex and, and Jason and Kev and Yurk and all these people that are that are around me that's building me to be that better person. So I'm, I'm just excited. I'm amped up. <laughs> very dope. Very dope. Well, hey, on behalf of Hip Hop Weekly Magazine, Bobby J, and myself, you know, we always support you. Just keep us updated. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Hip Hop Weekly, for always interviewing me. I appreciate you. <laughs> Johnny Blake. Dude.